Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today we learn topic 7 trigonometric functions. Trigonometric function subtopic 7.1 trigonometric ratio and identities. Learning outcome, objective for today, objective D, find the angle of the trigonometric equations. Include negative angle. Example, sine negative theta equals to negative sine theta, cos negative theta equals to cos theta, and tangent negative theta equals to negative tangent theta. We have two trigonometric function for any angle. First, an angle is negative when it is measured clockwise from the positive at axis. Two, an angle is positive when it is measured anti-clockwise from the positive at axis. Positive and negative angle can be represented on diagram by using the axis as a basic angle theta. Position for sine negative, cos negative and tangent negative are at four quadrant. In fourth quadrant, only cos theta is positive. Sine theta and tangent theta are negative because sine theta at second quadrant and tangent theta at third quadrant. Basic angle. Okay, remember guys, basic angle always at first quadrant, we call it acute angle with positive at axis, where theta is greater than 19 degree. So sine theta, tangent theta and cos theta always positive value. Okay guys, we continue with second quadrant. For second quadrant, theta is in second quadrant. So basic angle, we change to alpha. To find alpha equals to 180 degree minus theta. Alpha is acute angle with the axis. We know that at second quadrant, only sign is always positive. So, to find alpha, sine theta equals to sine 180 degree 
minus theta equals to sine alpha cos theta equals to negative cos 180 degree minus theta equals to negative cos alpha and tangent theta equals to negative tangent 180 degree minus theta equals to negative tangent alpha. Third quadrant. Theta is in third quadrant. To find basic angle alpha equals to theta minus 180 degree. Where alpha is acute angle. In third quadrant, only tension is always positive. Let's check sine theta equals to negative sine theta minus 180 degree equals to negative sine alpha. Cos theta equals negative cos theta minus 180 degree equals to negative cos alpha and tangent theta equals to tangent theta minus 180 degree equals to tangent alpha Last quadrant for quadrant. Theta is in fourth quadrant. So to find basic angle alpha is 360 degree minus theta. Where alpha is acute angle in at exists. In fourth quadrant, we know that cos is always positive. So to find sine theta equals to negative sine. 360 degree minus theta equals to negative sine alpha. For cos theta equals to cos 360 degree minus theta is equals to cos alpha and for the last tangent theta equals to negative tangent 360 degree minus theta equals to negative tangent theta